Hey guys, I just got off an Instagram live with at Start Over Kit and I just wanted to share a bit of my conversation and I would love to get your input on this one because I think it's a really interesting topic and I'd love to get a man's perspective too. So we were talking about how women tend to feel guilty about giving to themselves. So if they're feeling bad and there's something that they want to do for themselves, they plan on doing that thing, but then if their child, their partner, their friend, their auntie, whatever, if someone calls on them, they will put that thing on the side and go and serve. My whole point was, is that a woman needs to check what her emotion is that she's bringing to that next act that she's doing. For example, if I want to do something for myself and then my partner needs me to do something and then I'm going to not do that thing for myself and do that thing for my partner. The question is, what am I feeling and what is the energy that I'm bringing to that new task? Because we think that our emotions are our own and they're housed within us and so that if I'm feeling anger, resentment, jealousy, whatever it is, that I can just bottle it up and I can be a martyr and I can sacrifice myself for the happiness of my family and my friends and nobody else is gonna feel it and I'm being like the superhero. No, okay? Like we are deluded to think that if we have an energy of anything, like whatever our emotion is, whatever our energy is, we're deluded to think that other people don't feel it. And I love this concept that people like to say about calling themselves an empath. I'm an intuitive and I'm an empath. We are all empaths. We are all empaths. An empath that like puts their hand up as one just can articulate it and is more connected with their emotion so they can feel the dips that they feel. So they are more, they can feel how the external environment is impacting them. Does that make sense? Whereas someone who doesn't consider themselves an empath still feels it. They still feel it, but they're just not in tuned enough with their emotions to feel those, those ups and downs. Does that make sense? So if we think that we have an, em an emotion, whatever we're feeling, that people don't feel it, like that's just completely, <laughs> that's so inaccurate but I'd love to get your opinion. But here's the example I'd like to use. Um, you know when you ask someone, like, are you okay? And they say, yeah, I'm fine. But you just know that they're not okay. Their actions haven't changed, they haven't yelled at you, they haven't lashed out, but you can feel it. It's because you can feel their energy. Emotion is energy and you can feel it. So, tying back to the woman thing, we think that if we bottle up our energy, we can then go be a great mother and a great partner and a great whatever. But my whole point is, no, you can't. No, you fucking can't. You can't because that emotion, you are bringing that emotion to that act that you're doing. So the greatest gift that you can give to your family and your friends and to everyone else in the whole universe is to take care of your emotions first, to gain that emotional mastery. Because we can tell our kids to be confident and to speak your truth and to don't worry about what people say and all of that, but they're not listening to our words. They're feeling our energy. They're picking up our vibration. Our partners is the same thing. If we bring a negative energy to them and we're doing the thing that they've asked us to do, if you're bringing a funky ass energy to that, you are not serving them at the highest level. So we need to have a complete paradigm shift and a mindset shift about what giving to you actually means, ladies, what it actually means, okay? Because it's not selfish. It's the greatest gift that you can give to the people around you. So as I mentioned before, we're doing this program that's like catering to women that's really going to help with their emotional mastery. And this is so important because obviously, as we just stated, your emotions are impacting everyone around you. But when you can gain control over your emotions and when you know how to understand, manage and leverage them is when you literally transform your life. That's when your relationships get better. That's when your career takes off. That's when everything just starts to make more sense when you can get into that place of power over your emotions. It's in this place that you can speak your truth because as women, we tend to be, go to the extremes. So either 
we bottle up our emotions because we don't want to hurt anyone yet we're hurting ourselves why would you do that and you're also fucking hurting everybody else you just don't know that so you bottle it all up thinking that you're doing the right thing thinking that you're just like putting everyone else first but you're really impacting everyone else or you are a complete victim to your emotion and you lash out every emotion you have and you're like this and you're freaking pure drama to your partner, to your kids, everything. And that the reason we are those extremes is because we haven't stepped into our power of emotional mastery. Emotional mastery doesn't mean that you don't get to feel. Emotional mastery, you feel all of those emotions but you know when to pull on them at the appropriate times. You don't get caught up in the heat of the moment. You can take a moment and you can respond and you can speak your truth from a place of love, which is literally the best gift you can give to the world, is to be your most authentic self. And the only way you can do that is to through self-awareness and emotional mastery. So we're super excited about this program. So as I said, if um, you wanna learn more, just like this video, 